I was doing television documentaries, and the company I was with, we mostly did music documentaries, but I got really interested in the subject on um, factory farming. She was uh, editing film documentaries and stuff, and they were just having a really hard time. Like, I guess the economy was pretty bad. And unfortunately, that documentary never really went anywhere, but it got me really motivated to try to make a change in the factory farming industry. And my husband, John, has always been um, a chef. Basically, I've been working in restaurants ever since I started working. And uh, just kind of got tired of doing the same old thing in the same old restaurants. So I had this motivation to do something about the factory farming industry. Instead of looking, looking for more work, we just decided to make our own. We had been vegetarian for many years and became vegan together um, about maybe five years ago, I realized that there wasn't anywhere to eat. It's never been like a total struggle to find places to eat, but it's, it's always pretty hard, especially in Nashville at the time. With his um, cooking skills, we decided, well, you know, there's really nowhere for vegans to eat in Nashville. Both wanted a place we could eat at every day and see good, healthy vegetarian food. So with all those things combined, we decided, like, let's just start our, our own restaurant. It just, uh, it just seemed to make sense watching East Nashville grow and just trying to want to be a part of that. We're in a part of um, East Nashville called Eastwood Neighbors, and it's great to be here because it's a lot of kind of like-minded businesses. Um, Jenny's Ice Cream, we have the Rose Pepper across the street, Eastland Cafe, and Silly Goose. Ugly Mugs, um, we like to support them. We don't serve coffee, so people can kind of get their coffee from Ugly Mugs and then come in here and bring it in here. It's kind of, you know, a more progressive part of Nashville. It's our neighborhood, we love it, so we figured why would we go anywhere else. This is the perfect place for a vegetarian restaurant. We opened in December 2009 and we had restaurant experience. It was really helpful but it wasn't quite enough. We had quit our jobs so we weren't making money as we were spending it. Neither one of us had any business um, experience or knowledge or skills at all. We blew all the money we had as a couple. To start a restaurant. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest with you. We had a really hard time. We got really busy very quickly. We had a vision for the place. And we had a strong um, ideology and a strong motivation for what we were doing. We were very passionate about it. And luckily, it has exceeded that vision very rapidly. <laughs> Conrad had a fight. Beans, Beans knocked Conrad out of sight. Beans. Conrad said, now nah, that's all right. Beans. Meet me on the corner tomorrow night. Beans. I'll be ready. I'll be ready tomorrow night. Beans. We are a ve vegan restaurant, um, so that means that we don't use any products that have been tested on animals or any products that come from animals, and that definitely makes it hard. I think the biggest challenge to having just a vegetarian restaurant is like convincing someone that the food, like convincing a non-vegetarian that the food is going to be good, you know? But then it only takes them a few bites to actually get over that hurdle. A lot of vegetarian restaurants, which we love, um, they use a lot of like frozen, um, processed, like fake meat items. So we don't do that. We don't um, use like, you know, fake sausage or fake you know, turkey or anything. We don't have a freezer, so everything is fresh and most of our items are homemade, like all our sauces and dressings are homemade. So that would be like the overarching theme is that things are fresh and natural. We don't really use anything processed. This has been kind of like the, the easiest going kitchen I've ever worked in, you know. It's small and it's busy, so that, that's kind of hard, but like, it almost seems like working in an all vegetarian kitchen has like fewer challenges like health inspections are easier pretty much like uh, the whole cross contamination thing is like the easiest thing to avoid when you're just cutting vegetables and tofu and tempeh you know like not like cutting a head of lettuce on a the, uh, cutting board that you just cut some pork chops on, you know? We have a really casual menu. You know, there's some Mexican-influenced items. There's some Asian-influenced items. We feature, like, sandwiches, salads, entrees, appetizers. And we always have a daily um, entree special. And then sometimes we have soup or a veggie of the day or side of the day, different side options for specials also. We have fresh juices that change every day. Our desserts change every day. 
um, hummus changes every day. So we have a lot of things that keep it kind of fresh and different. So we accept ideas from customers, definitely. Like, there's just some, some people that come in and be like, you know what, it would be really good if you just added this. We are now get our, a lot of our produce through Creation Gardens, and they source a lot of local produce. And then recently, um, we discovered Nashville Farm to Chef, which is really great. They also, they're entirely local. They source from um, a lot of different farms in Tennessee, and they actually, um, the purpose of their entire business is to provide produce to people who can't afford it. So there's this whole, like, um, element of helping the community. That's still a big part of who we are, is giving back to the community. Our customers join a club, which we call the Wild Cow Friends with Benefits Club. And when they make purchases here, 5% of their purchase goes to the charity that they choose. There's a long list of charities that they can choose from when they set up their account, and it doesn't cost them anything. And then, just as a rewards program for them, after they spend $100 with us, they get a $10 credit. Our customer base is really diverse, which is really cool, because we have people from the neighborhood who aren't vegetarian or vegan, and they just like a you know quick, casual, healthy place to eat that's affordable. I mean, so many people come up to us and they're like, I'm not even vegetarian, but I love this food. You know, it's so good and it makes me feel good. And the community has been really supportive of us, so I think we made a good decision as far as location goes. It still kind of blows me away when I walk in here at night and just see like a line of like eight to ten people waiting in a full restaurant. We're definitely not going to move anywhere. We may someday open another location, but this is the Wild Cow on Eastland Avenue and we're definitely staying here.